Hello everyone, it's Kay here on a really grim bank holiday Monday in Taunton. However, it's nice crafting weather. I've just come on to show you a couple of projects I've been working on. Um, one is the card that's in front of you. I just fell in love with this image. Um, I had it on in, saved in one of my files and I couldn't begin to tell you where I found it originally, but it's just got such an urethral, um, whimsical look about it. I just wanted to do something with it. So basically I just used the mirror board to um, lay the image onto, because I always think that the mirror board lifts the image and sends it out quite nicely. I used some of this lace from Scrimpin' Mummy, Scrimpy's Crafty Boutique, some wild orchid flowers as you can see, and then some pearl trim just to finish off the um, frame of the image. It's just an A4 sized card. I've just folded it in half. I've lined the card with more card because it's actually quite a flimsy card. It's not really very strong. And because of the weight of the front, it needed that little bit extra weight inside to give it all a really good um, stand when it's stood up. I just bring it up that way. Without, without the inner card strengthening the front would just make it top heavy and it would just topple forward which would be no good. So I'll leave that one there because the second thing I want to share with you is uh, very much with a thank you to two people, Jan Stocks 13, I think that's the number, or Jan Stocks 11, I am sorry Janet, who talk, told, talked me through putting images onto material but sadly I'm the sort of person that actually needs to see how it's done and then marry up the, the written instructions with the, the having seen it done. The second person I need to thank is Amanda Charlesworth, Scrimping Mommy, who has just done the most amazing comprehensive video about putting um, in printed images onto material. And with that, this is what I then went on to make. I wanted the two images to complement one another, the, the two projects to actually marry up because it's for somebody quite special and I wanted it to be really nice. So I followed Amanda's instructions using the freezer paper, printed my image onto cotton material, peeled, peeled the backing off and this is the image I came up with and then went on to incorporate it into my project here. Um, it's very, very simple. It didn't take me too long to do, but it was an absolute pleasure. I've just layered up lace. This is the front with the double trim of pearls, the wild orchid craft flowers. I've put some of the sparkly Mod Podge onto the flowers, which do reflect in the right kind of light. Use this beautifully embossed ribbon, which I hope the camera will pick up. It is really, really delicate. It's got roses and leaf work running through it really really lovely and I wanted the purple then to marry up with the flowers. On the back I've just, excuse the glue strands, I thought I'd got all those little monkeys. Um, on the back I've just followed the material that I have put all of this on around, put an extra layer of lace around the outside there. There are these little flowers just adding a bit of interest into the centre part of the page, otherwise it's just netting. On this side it's actually leaves and they are separate, but I have added a little bit of lace underneath just to make sure that the line there was full. And then when you open it, there is a lovely little storage book here for 
stick pins and bobbins. There's a big pop in, uh, bobbins of ribbon. There's a big pocket at the back here that I um, have put one of these little bobbins of ribbon into. And there's black and there's pink in the front. Obviously you can't put anything solid in the middle pocket here because it will affect the lie of the um, little booklet. But it still works very well, I thought. I then went on to make these six stick pins, which again have had to remain really on the sides of the little book. This is one of the stick pins that I'm really, really pleased with. I've just used some ordinary satin ribbon, swallow tail at the ends, a little rose here, which I believe was gifted by Janet. Thank you very much, Janet. And they're all on this gorgeous pearl headed um, three inch stick pin. This is a bead from Mel's Bead Store on Facebook. And then a tiny, tiny little crystal on the end just to add that little bit of blingy interest to it. But I hope you agree, they really are beautiful, beautiful little pins that hopefully can be utilised in a number of projects. So that's that one which I'll put back over here because I did three of each design in the end just to try and um, keep it quite even. And this is the second one which is actually a double sided. I've used a flat back heart. I've used some of these bows, again from Scrimping Mummy's um, lace selling on Scrimpy's Craft Boutique. Some crystal rondelles with a little metallic rondelle in between. And again, I was really quite pleased with how that came out. It's nice to have something that is double sided like that. So if you wanted to just stand it up quite proud on something, it's not going to look untoward if you come at it from different angles. And that is my completed project. So I hope you've liked what you've seen. I hope you feel you'd like to comment and perhaps have a try at this yourself. I've forgotten about the second layer of lace on the inside. The pearl trim here also all, pre all um, purchased from Scrimpy's Craft Boutique and then this is just a, it is, it is a, a lace trim but it's, it's quite a heavy lace trim, um, obviously machine made but it is really really quite pretty and lent itself to this project so well. So I think that's everything covered. I will Love you and leave you and say goodbye for now until the next time. Happy crafting everyone. Take care for now. I'll just close this up and finally say bye bye for now. And thank you for sharing this time with me. Bye bye.